In this Red Gamer Tech video, we are once again here to touch on the lawsuit with Qualcomm, of course. They are being sued by both Apple and the FTC, as of course the FTC are backing up Apple's claims, which basically come down to the company, that being Qualcomm, reportedly using a no-license, no-chip strategy in which any company that uses their rival products are forced to pay a quote-unquote tax. As I discussed last time, Qualcomm have countersued to Apple's accusations, but it seems the pain doesn't stop there for this particular company as two more juggernauts in the technology space have joined in and have filed briefs supporting the FTC lawsuit and these are none other than Intel and Samsung. No small chickens, I'm sure you would agree. And basically, they are saying that Qualcomm is trying to monopolize it by using its dominant position in the mobile processor market. And Samsung have said specifically that Qualcomm is the main reason behind the Exynos chips not being made available to other companies. Now, for the moment, everything is very hush-hush until the trial hearing, should I say, on June the 15th, where we will learn much, much more about exactly what's going on with these companies. But it's not looking good for Qualcomm that we now have Apple, the FTC, Intel and Samsung all joining together to perhaps smack this company down and teach them a very interesting lesson. If indeed their accusations prove true, it could be quite tumultuous for the mobile gaming industry as of course they are fined heavily and undoubtedly they will no longer be in the position to force other companies into this well position and we might see someone else take the top spot when it comes to mobile processors. However, on the topic of Samsung, we have seen some impressive results for the Samsung Galaxy S8 as we have a Geekbench score for that very same phone. Now, of course, the S8 and S8 Plus both use the Qualcomm 10NM Snapdragon 835, at least for the American variation. Everywhere else has the Exynos 8895. And it is indeed the 8895 variation that was put to the test on Geekbench. And while the results are actually pretty damn impressive, as you can see on screen right about now, the results are, well, 2121 for single core and 7101 for multi core. Now, what's actually really interesting is that multi core result is actually a bit of a record breaker as it is higher than any other device out there and is a record for the benchmark database. The single core results are less so impressive, Apple are still in the lead, but when it comes to multi-core, Samsung have managed to break records with the S8. So it seems for those of you who like to keep on the very tip top of the mobile gaming hardware space, on the very cutting edge as it were, the S8 might indeed be a solid choice if indeed these Geekbench scores are anything to go by. Obviously one benchmark isn't enough to paint an entire picture as to the performance of this particular phone. Obviously you've got multiple scenarios, you want to know different usages and stuff like that, but it still gives us a little bit of a snap snapshot and a quite impressive one at that. So, with all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.